Hey, it's your girl Kita, and welcome to my channel, More Kita. So, in today's video, I want to show you how I went from this to this. with this DIY concrete fireplace wall. And if that's something you're interested in seeing, then go ahead and keep on watching. The structure of the fireplace was mainly built from two by fours. And whenever I start a project, I like to draft it out and draw it out. After doing that, I do try to transfer it over to some software just to kind of make it more into a blueprint. So my responsibilities for the fireplace wall came later in the process, but to start off, Bay and his friend actually did all the framework. Here's a front view of the structure. You can see that we went ahead and built studs. On the sides are the king studs. Above the opening of the fireplace are the cripple studs and below the opening is the jack studs for added support. Here you can see the side frame of the structure and we did decide to come out 16 inches from the wall. Once the structure was put into place, it was secured to both the ceiling and the floor. The dimensions I decided to go with was 16 inches from the wall, 70 inches in width, and then the height was eight feet high. The board that you see there, that's actually where we're gonna go ahead and mount the TV. Some additional dimensions is that my fireplace is 60 inches in width. The mantle is going to be four and a half feet high. And then instead of using the 55 inch TV, we decided to mount a 65 inch television. So I am a little weird. I do have to clean up after every step. I use the shock vac to go ahead and get the bigger pieces and definitely clean up the wall before we close it up. And then I followed up with my vacuum just to get some of the smaller dust particles. Now that the framing is complete, it's time to go ahead and put the backer board on. Do not use regular drywall if you're using some type of cement or a stone. So in our case, we did use the cement backer board. Here's a look with all the backer board on. If you notice the joints or the seams are not aligned, you never want to line them up completely because they will actually create a crack in your foundation. And huge shout out to both Bay and his friend. I didn't want to mention his friend's name because I did not get his permission, but they both did a great job. And these are the additional studs where the mantelpiece will be mounted. Two holes were created on the side for an access panel as well as some additional cords. And then this white piece is a cord organizer. We did go ahead and spray paint that black at a later time. And this black piece was mounted so we can actually plug in our TV and other devices easily. So this is where I come in with my expertise. And what I'm doing right now is applying the mesh tape to all of my joints. This is just preparation for the mortar that I'm gonna be using to go ahead and seal everything in. And as I mentioned, the white core organizer did get spray painted black. So here I'm just removing it so we can get prepped for spray paint. I also decided to go ahead and paint the board where the TV is going to be mounted matte black. Now I could have left it as is because the TV will be covering it. However, looking from the side, I felt like you still would be able to see it. And plus I just wanted a seamless look. So I did decide to paint this matte black. Next, my daughter and I mixed the thin set mortar to go ahead and apply over that mesh tape that you guys saw. This will go ahead and just add an additional bond and seal everything in. As you can see from the right side of the screen, I already started the mortar over there, but now on the floor, what I'm doing is spreading the mortar on this corner piece that I'm gonna be applying to the edge of the fireplace wall. I start by just applying the mortar first to the two edges. And then once everything is um, applied, I'm gonna go ahead and put that corner piece up. That corner piece is going to make it look seamless so it doesn't look like two pieces are connected together. It's just gonna look like one seamless piece. Once I have the corners up, I go ahead and smooth it all down just to make sure everything fits nice and snug. And then I'm actually gonna go back in with that thin set mortar to apply over it. So before I finish up for the night, I'm just gonna go back in and apply another coat of that mortar over all of my joints. That way it can dry overnight. So here's the next morning after all the mortar dried and excuse the way I look, I did put a hood on because I knew I was gonna sand. And if you know anything about sanding, it gets everywhere. You can definitely use an electric sander for this portion. However, because it wasn't too much, I just decided to go ahead and sand by hand. As you can see, the OCD kicked in and I definitely had to go ahead and clean up some of this stuff before I moved on to the next step. After I cleaned up all the dust, now it's time to go ahead and apply the cement. Originally, I was gonna use a product called Planty Patch, but it was really hard to find. So after further research, I decided on the product called Feather Finish. And I'm really glad that I did because the color came out exactly how I wanted it. So I just went ahead and applied the cement across the entire wall using my trowel. And then also what I did, I didn't get footage here is 
I used a wet sponge to kind of smear it around just to kind of give it more of a seamless look. I did only use one coat of the cement and here is the cement in the drying process. This product does start to dry within 15 minutes. However, we did allow it to dry for a few hours before sanding. Now I chose the cement wall because I really like the texture. So here I'm sanding not to get rid of the texture, but to actually smooth down some of the high rough points that was left behind when I did go ahead and cement. So after we cleaned up all the dust, we went ahead and installed both the TV mounts as well as the fireplace and so far I am absolutely loving it. While we were waiting for the mantelpiece to be built, we went ahead and put some of the furniture back as well as installed the TV. And just look at this texture, y'all. Like, look at this texture. This came out exactly like I wanted. A lot of the other cement were very gray. This came out with a more of a brown tone that matches my floors perfectly. Now, once the beam was done, we did go ahead and install it in its natural state. Bay took a torch and put burn marks to it, so it gives a really nice texture, but I don't know if I wanna leave it bare as is or if I want to whitewash it. So let me know in the comments, give me some suggestions. I don't want a dark stain, I kinda want something light. The view of that access panel in the core outlet, it only came in white, but I am looking for a color that I can paint over to match the wall. I got the fireplace from Amazon. I really do like it. You can change the color of the flames as well as the height of the flames. It does have a remote control that controls the heat as well as the air. It comes with a timer and I like the fact that the vents are in the front so it blows the air out in the front versus the top. The only thing I don't like about it, it does have a clinking sound. When you're watching TV or have music or anything of that nature, you cannot hear. Otherwise, you do hear a slight clicking sound. I've been so in love with this setup that I've already started filming in front of it. This particular video you see right here will be dropping soon, so definitely stay tuned. But overall, this came out exactly like I wanted. There are a few things I am still looking to do as far as kind of concealing my internet box and things of that nature, but I am obsessed, y'all. Tell me what you think. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY concrete fireplace wall that we did. And if you did, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Also, be sure to check the description box down below. I will try to be as detailed as possible. And if you want to see more fashion as well as more lifestyle content and, of course, more Kita, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. And I will catch you guys in the next one.